right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol AMC, AMC Entertainment Holdings, Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And as we jump into this chart, I do want every single investor to be aware of the fact that I have a new ticker symbol. You definitely won't want to miss. You definitely want to add it to your watch list and keep a close eye on this one moving forward keeping it on your radar due to the fact that it's in the EV sector and it's within a specific niche of the EV sector that has great potential moving forward. So stay tuned. We're going to talk more about that ticker symbol towards the end of this video. So AMC, AMC Entertainment Holdings Inc. has had a recovery, but not a full one, right? We saw it hit a peak here of about $17 and some change. And then it started to pull right back down. Now, the reason why that happened so fast, I believe is due to the fact that either some more people went ahead and double dipped from any purchases they made on the way up. They double dipped here to average down and on the way up, they were trying to be patient. A lot of investors tried to hold as much as they can and then they started to get out. Then they ran it right back up. And then now today we're definitely seeing a lot of investors running out trying to break even, cut their losses by a little bit, or take a small profit and call it a day and move on to the next stock, right? So AMC is taking a hit here, and we definitely want to watch this one carefully moving forward because it could actually have some consolidation within this area, right? And continue to move sideways and then have another catalyst moving it upwards to newer highs. Who knows? But right now, the stock is definitely struggling to stay up. It's a lot of a run up and then a pull right back down. So we need to see how this does tomorrow. So here are the points of reference we want to watch. The first thing is the 50 day moving average is 1363. I want every single investor to be aware of that. 1363 needs to be broken through so the bulls can reach newer highs and new resistance levels if they don't accomplish that they'll be in bearish territory and this could be on its way down to newer lows and it's in tug of war zone so we're currently at 1221 and if this continues to pull downwards the support level here is 1109 based off of the lowest point reached in the day if that gets broken through this could be on its way down to newer lows and new support levels and the next support would be down here at 864 you could see how quickly this is moving from one spectrum to the other and how quickly it can get to the next support by the way this stock has reacted and look at where our 50-day moving average is way up here at 1363 giving us an idea of how far of a distance it's moved in just a few hours more than a dollar and now it's almost on its way down to newer lows if it breaks through 1109 by tomorrow so Every single investor should pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting moving forward and between this support and the next support because we are in bearish territory. And as this breaks through support levels, this is getting deeper and deeper down to new support levels and deeper bearish territory. So keep that in mind, pulling further away from the 50 day moving average in the downward direction. Now, on the other hand, we have the resistance. Yes, the bulls want to break through the 50 day moving average. But most importantly, through this high, the four dipped and broke through the 50-day moving average from reaching the peak up here of $17 and some change. So this resistance level is pretty important moving forward for this stock to go any higher and continue a momentum upwards pulling away from the 50-day moving average. So that resistance level is 1452. That needs to be broken through by the bulls and turn into a support so that the bulls can work their way up to newer highs and new resistance levels continuing the momentum and working their way up away from the 50 day moving average so it's very important to keep that in mind now before that resistance level i would consider the 50 day moving average as a resistance level as well which is about a dollar difference from the resistance level which lets us know that this has reached bullish territory but the resistance level to let us know that there's some leverage being gained by the bulls is 1452 if they can turn it into a support and work their way up to newer highs. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. 
don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Stay tuned till the end because I have a ticker symbol you definitely won't want to miss and you definitely want to add it to your watch list. So for everyone that has stayed to this point, the ticker symbol I'm about to share with you guys is definitely one you want to do more research on and you want to watch carefully. Now it's in the EV sector and it focuses on a specific niche and I've been watching it for a few days and an article came out on Friday that gave me even more of a confirmation why this one's going to have potential in the long term. I'm not too quite sure how we need to uh, play it out in the short term because it is kind of hyperinflated in a little bit and it was going downwards and it just bounced back up and I definitely want to recommend to every single investor watch it carefully. So the ticker symbol is ACTC, Arclight Clean Transition Corp. So here we are with how it reacted when the merger was announced. It went from $12 all the way up to $31. It started to pull back and this pullback was looking healthy. Now it bounced right back up and this could be the overall market reaction because the whole market had a slight jump and it jumped $4, almost $3 and some change, $4 from the lows here. So right now it's sitting at 26.29 and I definitely recommend watching it if it breaks through 2050 and also 2015, right? 2215, excuse me. Those are the two points of support levels to watch carefully moving forward. And we want to see if this continues to pull downwards after this slight jump or does it consolidate up here? And is it creating the anticipation leading towards the merger? Now, after the merger is something to watch as well. I've seen a lot of these mergers happen so far and they actually start to have pullbacks as well afterwards. But in the long term, this is definitely a stock to keep in mind and watch carefully because they have a large market share who ACTC is going to merge with. Let's see this article here. So this is the article that came out on Friday. Yesterday I was going to do videos and I actually was going to do videos on Friday. I've had a few hiccups and I apologize for that to every single viewer and investor, but I'm glad that I'm still able to proceed with this information and it's still one to definitely watch and keep in mind. So when I saw this article from Investor's Place, the heading was why investors should pass on Arclight for now. The key words here to me that stand out is should pass for now. And that's fine. You want to add it to your watch list though and you want to keep an eye on it and see how it's reacting because this sector has potential. And this is who they're merging with, Proterra. Arclight has agreed to merge with Proterra. Well, now that they have agreed to do that, who you should do more research on is Proterra. Now, from what I've seen, they've been around for over 10 years and they have a large market share in the niche that they do. And what do they do? They are an electric bus maker. Now, if you guys have seen Arrival and how things are happening in Europe, I could see Proterra being the one in the US market. That's the one in Europe market, Arrival. I could see Proterra being the one in the US market. I'm not sure if Arrival will arrive into the US market. For as long as it doesn't, Proterra has an upward you know, hand on this one. So over the long term, it basically says Proterra should do very well. That's a good sign. Now it talks about, you know, the pandemic and so forth, why it's not recommend to buy ACTC anytime soon. Now Arclight has agreed to merge with Proterra. So when they say this anytime soon, but they say over the long term, it should do very well. And then I see should pass for now. It makes sense that this is the time to watch it. You really want to keep it on your radar and see how it moves. And now we have time to do due diligence as investors and in research to know more about Proterra. So if anybody knows more than me or anything else or wants to share any articles or even this article, if you find it, you could post the link down below in the comments so that other investors are aware. But I would definitely start with this one because just the beginning kind of throws you, you know, the good and the bad. And then as you continue to read, it talks about the good and the bad. And all of a sudden the good outweighs the bad because it tells you all the great things of Proterra and who they are and how they're working and what they plan on doing moving forward. Now, why do I see potential in this stock moving forward? And I'm not here to tell you guys to buy, sell, or hold any position in it, but I am here to enlighten you guys on adding this to your radar and keeping a close eye on it. Well, 
right now we are in the pre-merger you know hype and stuff and after the merger things might cool down again and we need to see how far down it cools down and also what's the anticipation leading into the merger now why is this a great one well the fact is that electric bus makers have a lot of potential just based off of the school system think about that nationwide and then public transportation system think about that nationwide there's enough to go around there for them to go ahead and make these buses and receive a lot of purchases and orders over time so i look forward to how things continue to move and especially with legislation being passed and going greener and ev becoming more of a norm rather than a luxury or taboo it's going to change everything about the whole sector and the fact that this focuses on a niche within the ev sector which is electric bus makers and this is one of them and they have a large market share in that niche i could see a lot of potential for this one so definitely want to add to your watch list actc it's going to merge with proterra thank you guys so much for watching and as always let's make some money